Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the show. In the last episode of Monster Ranger 4, uh, we kind of failed pretty damn hard. We failed about as hard as we can fail. As uh, you may see that we only have four monsters. We met up a uh, cross between giant Pac-Man steroids and Captain Hook, and he completely handed our asses to us. The old me would have been so pissed we would have reset the game and uh, tried again, but it doesn't matter because death penalties are light. Um, giant Pac-Man Hook dude is the guy who kidnapped the, invest the Fimba investigators. They're the ones we're trying to rescue. Uh, but... He kicked our ass so bad that Maynard is not with us anymore. Maynard is injured and in the invisible hospital being taken care of by Talt. Um, I sure hope it comes back soon. Yeah. So even though we're short one monster, uh, Maynard still takes up a spot. So we can't simply hire or spawn a new monster. Uh, we are going to run over there, though, to the... Um, to the shrine in just a moment, though, however, because, uh, well, you'll see in a moment. So, you know what? Do that anyway. Okay, so, during the last excursion, the last time skip in the Kalaragi jungle, we picked up a saucer, and I just want to appraise it, see what kind of monster it spawns. Um, and of course, we won't actually use this spirit sprite. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh. Ugh. Whiz ring. So I guess a sprite type is the... Ugh. I guess a sprite type is the weird bell thing that I already have two of. I was hoping sprite was the pixies, but I guess not. Anyway. So we won't be playing with that one. We're still spawning monsters off of the Akamura's CD collection. However, I want to see what kind of freaking monster that was. So let's see if it jumps right to it. It sure doesn't. Okay. Uh, Rabbi run. Uh, okay. There's Wizard. Whoa. That dude is cool. The Wizard is a is a really hard. <clears throat> Wait. Let me do this in my storybook voice. The whiz ring is a really hard worker, so it's always worn out, and its clothes are all ragged. But it thinks it doesn't matter what it wears, as long as it does its best. Sounds like a line that would be said from Pokemon or something. So, uh, all we're doing here is we're gonna just continue- Oh god, I'm yelling at everybody except Rasta. Um... We're just, uh, we're just continuing on, um, we're going to wait until Maynard gets better, and we're gonna try to train everybody a little bit better, and then we're gonna give it another go. Uh, so I suppose I will be time skipping up until then, so hang on for just a moment, guys, and we're gonna give Captain Pac-Man Hook one more shot. All right, we're entering Garu in the Cyclone Cup before we deal with Pac-Man Hook again. Um, this will be our first B-level competition, so we'll see how well Garu can do. That should give us some, uh, uh, I don't know, some... That should tell me how well we think he will do against Captain Pac-Man Hook, I guess. Uh, clearly Maynard is overmatched, although Rasta held his own, which was kind of surprising because I thought Maynard was stronger. Oh, the Eagle Dude! I love the Eagle Dudes! That's another class I absolutely love! Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, so... It seems Garu isn't all that great. His accuracy went fucking all the way down, but... Then again, the Eagle Dudes are really speedy, so maybe I was right. Maybe speed does affect accuracy. Well, dodge, I should say. Maybe your speed affects your dodge rate, ergo decreases the enemy's accuracy. That would be good to know. So my tiger should be easy to... or hard to hit, hopefully. Uh, all things else equal, or something. Assuming he's not grossly overmatched. Okay, so like this dude, he does have greater accelerate than uh, agility than Garu speed. I don't know, but not that much. There's a fire kick to the face anyway. 
That's one sweet ass opening, man. That's what I want to see in UFC. Just some dude light himself on fire and go in with a flying kick. And get me to buy all of the UFC pay per views. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because that's like $100 a month. Fuck that noise. I do not have that money. All right, come on, Garu. Oh, good. Okay. That's one less I have to worry about. I wonder if you can actually draw with someone. I think you theoretically can, but the chance of it happening is super ridiculous low. Like, if you're tied after a minute, like if no one's down after a minute, then it goes to whoever has the greatest percentage of health left. Um, but then I think even if you're tied on that, there's another way they do a tiebreaker or something. I don't remember. Still, the chance that anyone's going to draw in this game is incredibly low. One minute of fighting is forever, given that the time does not tick during a during an attack animation. So it's very difficult to see any sort of draws. So it looks like Garu's doing all right for being in the B class. He's certainly competitive. Uh, he's so far sweeping the competition, but it hasn't exactly been a total domination. At least not if that first asshole had anything to say about it. And my stats um, are comparative to the enemy, but not overwhelming. So... Okay. Nice dodge. Smack. See, that front attack, he only has a 62% chance of hitting me. If I tried to counter, he'd have a 66% chance of hitting me. So, I may as well let him try to attack. Alright, so we swept the competition. That's our first B-Class win. Um, Garu earns his first B-Class star, which is great. But it doesn't really help us in training. I may just avoid... Um, all training for, or not training, but competitions for a while because it may not matter. Well, at least among the first three. Uh, right now, we just got to get everyone's attack and accuracy up a little bit. Or defense. Maybe I'll put everybody on a defense only regimen. That doesn't sound like too bad of an idea, actually. So, Garu, um, rest this week. Rasta, yeah, stick with the tub. Um,. You definitely, you both need rest. Okay, so we've got our schedule set. Um, oh, come on, Rasta. Do something awesome. We're going to time skip again until something interesting happens. Uh, hopefully soon. <laughs> oh yeah, before I forget again, let's give Garu his celebratory cake. Hopefully he likes it. That's right. Who doesn't love cake? Maynard is finally home from the hospital after God knows how many weeks. I didn't see on the video how long it's been that he's been out. But right now it's February. I'm sorry, it's December. I know he was lost sometime in freaking fall, so he's been out for a while with a coma. But he's back. L lost a shit ton of life. Uh, life um, expectancy, but whatever. He's back now, so we just take the splints off and send him right back out into battle. Yeah, so more time skips. First time we've seen this message, Garu doesn't have a whole hell of a lot left on his lifespan. So, yeah, it won't be much longer, maybe less than a year of game time, but we're going to work him until he dies, because that's what good Monster Rancher breeders do. Okay, attempt number two. Uh, You again, is it? Yes, we will fight as many times as it takes for you to understand us. That's another good lesson for you kids. If someone disagrees with you, punch them until they start agreeing with you. There is absolutely nothing that can go wrong with that. That's the way society works. Viva America. Alright, let's see if we can beat this dude. We've got all of our hit points. The only problem I had last time is that Garu got wiped out too early. So, if Garu can survive and keep kicking this dude in the face, I think we're gonna be fine. 
Um, nice dodge. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. I don't know why that didn't activate like 15 seconds ago, because that would have been a oh, fuck. Oh, everyone heals. Yeah, that was a big ass waste. Wish I hadn't done that, because it drains everyone's guts completely. So everyone heals, but I got nothing to show for it. So we're going to sub in Rasta here. See, now I need the healing. Anyway, I'm going to sub in Rasta because he'll have, he'll be able to attack after 15. Guts! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! There we go! And, um, um, okay. Well, at least that was something. Maynard, you're in. Oh, yeah, you have the 10 Guts attack. That's okay. You just keep doing that. Smack. We just need one more. We got this. We got... Oh, God. Well, okay. Uh, uh, uh. End them. End them. Oh, thank God. Okay. <sighs> wonder if Maynard will have to go back to the hospital after that one. But we've got Captain Pac-Man Hook, and he is finished. Now we're going to have a touching speech. Um, as soon as the... Oh, God. Yeah, he has a tat on his left shoulder. <laughs> uh, you can't do the eye spinning thing unless it's for comic effect. Also, his hook is absolutely seizuring over there, although you can't really see it with Rio's body in the way. So anyway, Rio's telling him all we want is the kidnapped dudes, who I think you can see their cage up above him to the left? But there's nothing but skeletons in there. So, and a bunch of uh, gravestones behind that. So apparently he's kidnapped a lot of dudes, is respectful enough to bury them, but only after he starved them to death in a cage. But everything's cool because Rio promises that uh, Dingle and she will no longer, or will never alter monsters by slapping them with some uh, prosthetic bits. And apparently that's enough to make the giant ass monster relax. Or something. I I don't know. But it's enough to move on the storyline, that's for damn sure. And uh here we are in winter. Excuse me, hello. Hello, Cynthia. Uh, and she's got a letter from Mr. Carnub, who congratulates us and wants us to stop by the Monster Association in Rewin. Okay, and this is about as far as I got in my side file, so I don't remember what to do from here, which is fine. It'll be fun for both of us. Uh, okay. There's a cannon? All right. So we've got a cannon and a rodeo. Let's see what those do. All right, so the cannon, there's cannon, that's for defense at the cost of accuracy. I'm not really a fan of that. A rodeo is life with the cost of intelligence? Oh yeah, we're, we're all over that one. We're definitely all over that one. What size is that? Is that a two by two? That works for me. Um, stick it here. I'm actually really cool with that combination. All right, now let's also buy a book, although I don't have any monsters who really need it, since I don't have any monsters who are uh, using their intelligence. This will be good when we finally get one who does. And I think that should be enough. I think we're good. Um, unless there's another effect one. Nope, just another wonder well. That's okay. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. Thank you, Pollock. I'm sorry, I always say no because the cursor defaults to no. It's probably best that it defaults to no, but whatever. And Jack has left his baby age, which is awesome. And we're also gonna hit up the shrine because I think I got a beast stone during that last excursion. And if not, I'm just wasting your time for about 30 seconds. I'm not entirely upset about that. Wait, well, what? Oh. Well, geez, you don't have to get pissed off at me, dude, just because I didn't realize I wasn't carrying a stone. Man. 
So, okay, so this week, if we don't have any competitions to deal with, then we're going to head over to Ruin, and I will check the calendar. What do we got? We got Garu can have a match. Uh, I, I kind of want to do that. So, I'll have Garu do a B-class battle, the Jupiter League, uh, to m this week. And then we'll go next week. So I'm going to time skip ahead to next week. Um, and we're going to see what the next part of the story is. Alright. Heading to Ryuin. Hopefully we'll get some answers out of Chris Kringle over at the Monster Association. And we'll buy some more food while we're here. Because I think I'm running a little short on squids. Oh wait, I can't buy squids here. Oh, fuck it. Carnob has something for us. It's a Breeders' Rank B certificate. Hell yes! Now we can... Enter the IMA competition in Torbal, um, which is actually stronger than Fimba, more difficult than Fimba. Rio was immediately sad, and I was I just realized he has a K on his belt buckle. Like, who is arrogant enough to have their own name? It's like tattooing your own name on your dick, so your girlfriend remembers who. Well. Let's be honest, if you've tattooed your name on your dick, you don't have a girlfriend. But regardless, it's so any chick who's ba who you're banging will totally remember you. Probably not the way you want to be remembered, but you will be remembered. So the ladies in Carnob uh, are upset that anybody would uh, glue some machinery bits onto monsters. Um, and Philia is telling us to head to Torbal because Torbal is the technology capital of the world. So they would probably know what exactly is going on. One would hope. But we are first going to buy some food. Nearly 20 grand. Not bad. Um, certainly could be better. I need more mushrooms because I think Andy loves mushrooms. One of the monsters really digs mushrooms. What the hell do we have... Holy crap, I'm going through money quickly. I'm not buying watermelons. Those are flipping expensive. I think, what? Well, yeah, watermelons are 300 bucks a piece. Screw that noise. We're going for nanners. Nanners are cheap and easy. Bananas are one of those things, like, I can't stand eating bananas normal, like, straight, like, the actual fruit. I don't like bananas. But I do like... Uh, banana flavored things. Like, I like banana pudding and banana, uh, I almost said banana meringue pie. <laughs> That's lemon meringue pie, which I like too, but I like banana pudding, banana pies. Um, I like banana ice cream, but not banana splits because banana splits have the bananas in them. I don't like bananas. I don't know why. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. And for me, I have the opposite thing going on with grapes. I love grapes by themselves, which I should probably get since I eat so unhealthy. That would be probably a good snack to have on hand. Um, but I can't stand grape-flavored anything. I despise jelly with a passion. Um, is anyone using the target? Use the target, Rasta. Yeah. And you use the sandbag. And, and you just do whatever you're doing. Um, I don't know. I'm a weird eater, I guess. An abnormal eater. I also like mustard on everything and hate ketchup, which is very uh, un-American, I suppose. Hate ketchup. Hate, hate, hate ketchup. I don't like sweetness anywhere near my meal unless it's in soda or another drink. I don't know why. I also don't know why I'm telling you this. I guess it's mo mostly to fill time. And the fact that I always want you guys to know me a little better. Because, you know... You... That's why you're part of the channel, I would hope and assume. But, unfortunately, even though you're part of the channel, I'm out of time for today's episode. So tune in tomorrow when we head to Torbal, and we're going to see if we can track down whatever jackass is altering monsters. See you tomorrow.